Hi everyone, for Steam Next Fest February 2024, I played the Mullet Mad Jack demo, developed by Hammer95. Mullet Mad Jack is a first person shooter where you shoot your way through a not quite cyberpunky interior to rescue a princess. The core gimmick is that you're being live streamed and your body is fueled with likes from the audience. Without those likes, you only have 10 seconds to live. The audience likes you killing enemies and also likes you drinking soda from vending machines. So that is what you do. The premise makes it clear that this is an extremely fast paced game. I was initially overwhelmed by the demo. Having a 10 second timer encouraged instinct over thought. There was quite a bit I missed until I watched the replay of my playthrough. Now before I get into the gameplay, let me talk about the graphics. The aesthetic is strong and oozing with flavor, though personally, I feel like there's too much color going on. It's hard to figure out what I should be looking at. Most of my experience is what I would call pure sensory overload. The play is very arcadey and well suited to the 10 second pace that the game wants you to feel. I wasn't sold on the starting pistol, but the shotgun and katana are both wonderful and satisfying to play with. There is an upgrade system at play. At the end of every level, you get an upgrade, making sure each level doesn't feel exactly the same as you accumulate more powers over time. For some reason, my playthrough was Japanese, so I had no idea what upgrades I was choosing. The trailer does show the upgrade menu is in English, so no worries there. Based on what I do get to play with, if the other upgrades are all as balanced as the weapons I got to try, then there's going to be no shortage of replayability here. I don't really understand the enemy design or the level design here. Part of that was me spacing out from the sensory overload, but even from the replay, there are bad guys and barriers, and neither of them were really memorable, nor did they stand out to me. The environment also kind of blended together as well. I'm having a hard time envisioning what to look forward to with future non-demo content. Level design and monsters are presumably going to be limited by the 10 second timer. The trailer did show a boss section without a time limit, and there was a vehicle shooting section, but if it's in the demo, I didn't get that far. Would I recommend Mullet Mad Jack? I think this is a case where you can tell if you're going to like the game just from watching a minute of gameplay. It's a fast paced, high energy shooter with tons of theme and a very distinct aesthetic. And if you're a fan of all that, you'll be a fan of this for sure. I wish it had more interesting enemies and architecture, and I'm not personally a fan of all the colors that are happening, but beyond that, this is for sure a solid speed shooter. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments.